Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of the Studio Project. My name is Wim Winters and today we will make a very short and I promise you a very short video. I have some things, I think three things to announce and just one little item to talk about. For those of you who are new to this channel or to this video series, we are making a video vlog series about our idea, our dream and our dream is the dream of myself as a musician and my wife Anya of rebuilding here the barn next to our house to a professional recording studio environment. And uh, since the way to the decision and also for the execu execution of that, if we come that far, uh, seems to be interesting to cover and to share with you. We're talking about actual technical uh, items, but also the uh, decisions we have to take on the field of marketing actually management we have mentioned in earlier episodes and i will link them in the show notes below that we were a few months ago in vigo in spain to meet philip newell a really legendary sound engineer who worked in the 70s with uh, the very young label of virgin with richard branson philip is designing and building recording studios all over the world for the last 20 years and he probably is one of the most experienced persons out there to do this and since he is in england in great britain uh, near manchester uh, these weeks to visit family we thought it might be interesting to invite him to come over to belgium and to really have a physical look at the barn here next to us and just make up a small or long to-do list so that we can actually start the um, preparation for that and preparation works will be much of study works thinking about what we actually want to do what the impl implication of costs are and at the end making the decision if we can jump that far or not so philip is coming here on wednesday 19th of august 2015 in case you're watching this video much later and you will stay here at our house for two days and then return to Vigo, to Brussels. And of course, we will cover that, his visit, and maybe even an interview with him. Who knows? So that's coming up. Next thing that's coming up is that at the end of this holiday season, last week of August, again, 2015 probably, we might go to Switzerland to pick up our studio, AATR tape recorder together with the mixing console 269 also from Studer. Restoration has been finished by Andreas Kuhn of uh, Studer Analog Audio and if you remember and I will link up in the show notes as well we made an earlier video that we will go to Switzerland to collect the two devices but it didn't work out then because of an agenda, agenda issue that turned up uh, really at the last minute so we rescheduled that and probably next uh, not next week but the week thereafter we go Anya and myself maybe with the children we don't know yet uh, to let them enjoy some Swiss, Swiss mountains uh, they have never seen that before um, we'll think about that and I come back to you when things are concrete so that will be an exciting trip to Andreas Kuhn in Switzerland hopefully with some video footage and maybe an interview as well um third thing just an announcement and that you will discover and not in the next music video which will be Haydn a flat major sonata um, published on the i have to look at my watch with the 16th now so that will be for the 20th of august 2015 that will be recorded still is still recorded on my own clavichord but i have taken uh, my clavichord to yours and for just a uh, revision of the of the action it, it works fine but it, some keys are making some noise and he made some alterations he did some experiments with the with some uh, some parts of it so he needs to adjust that very carefully that in order that we can make our recordings of the partitas of Bach next month maybe early 2016 um, it would be a pity that the action would make uh, too much noise. It's, it's not that bad, but you know, we want to have things perfect. And I brought his own, so Yoda's instrument to my place. We'll cover that later. It's a little, uh, it's a little bit larger instrument, uh, same style, but completely different sound. And it will be very interesting to share that with you. It's, it will be exciting to, to, to look for the differences and the, uh, 
and the uh, specific uh, color of this instrument. So that's coming up. Last thing I want to talk about and uh, is about the list um, video I uploaded uh, last time, uh, Jeux d'eau à la Villa d'Est, which was recorded at a house concert here in 2008. So it was an old recording, live recording, unedited. And just because we, I thought, well, it would be nice to celebrate the 100th video, about 100th video on the uh, YouTube channel for Authentic Sound to give you just something of old box stuff and it, but the reactions were very positive it's far from what we're doing here on the channel with 18th century baroque music and uh, Viennese classic music early 19th century Beethoven the pianoforte that yours is building now is coming and you can follow that project more on Facebook on the authentic page face of Facebook than on the YouTube channel I need to find time for covering that because it's so interesting. We were this week looking for the uh, veneer for the finish of the pianoforte. There are pictures of that on Facebook, so check it out if you're interested in that. So that's coming, but I must say, listening to this list recording, I feel again the love and the passion that I have also for that music and that in that concert I played the complete third Année de Pellerinage together with Frank uh, Prelude Corale Fugue and I was thinking why should I not taking up the era piano again it's now on its side behind the organ we have here and just because of a matter of place and we might put it back on his legs and I'm thinking of asking Jan van den Hemel, who is a very accomplished, very fine, very, it's one of the best pianoforte builders actually living in Antwerp, but also one of the great experts on uh, Erard. The piano is in, in good shape, but it needs a, a little bit uh, care for the action. It's very complicated action with all kinds of small springs. So thinking of asking Jan van den Hemel just to come over and have a look at it some uh, few days and maybe start to practice the piano again. I'm. I don't know. I, I am a little scared because it touches so diff, different from uh, from the clavichord, but that will be also the touch for the, for the pianoforte. So, who knows? That's coming up maybe on this channel, even an Erard piano. Who could have imagined that? So that was it for today. So great news, Philip Newell is coming. I'm really looking forward to that. Also to covering that with you. Um, many things are coming up also here on the studio project. I've bought some. Uh, very nice collections of vinyl recordings, a very old one of the early uh, electrical recordings in the 20s. I will share that with you in later videos. We have to share also uh, our, my new gramophone player, which is really wonderful, just as a preparation, all, all as a preparation for the studio project. We're going to produce vinyl recordings together with uh, digital downloads, but the analog recording will be the core of the, of the project. And of course, a good gramophone player could not... Uh, uh, be forgotten so it's here now it's clear audio and for me that's a new world that's opening up so that's coming up all um and as you see oh it's already almost 10 minutes but that's short uh, for me so i'm rather happy i will become a better person in the future and even make more shorter videos I'll do my best for that but many things to talk about so thank you for watching thank you also for sharing this video and for subscribing that's the way how these social platforms work and mr google and mr youtube is only watching if you watch and if you share the video so thank you very much for that and i'm looking forward to meet you again in the next video thanks for watching again bye